floating point multiplication will be the topic in this particular video and session. So, floating point multiplication obviously in this case we are taking two numbers and obviously they are floating point numbers and they are getting multiplied. So, you know that whenever floating point numbers are getting multiplied then exponents are getting added up, mantises are getting multiplied and then I shall go for the normalization of the floating point number. I shall explain this one in some theory then using one example and then the hardware sch schematic diagram to represent the same. So, let me go one by one. So, please look at here multiplication of a pair of floating point numbers let they be x is equal to m of x. So, m x that is the mantis of x into 2 to the power of a, a is the exponent of x and y is m of y into 2 to the power of b. So, m x into 2 to the power of a and m y into 2 to the power of b are the two floating point numbers x and y respectively and the corresponding multiplication will be done and the respective product will be m x into m y that is the mantises are getting multiplied the product will be the mantis of the resultant uh, product into to the power of a plus b that means exponents are getting added. So, this is the process. If you want to go for the general algorithm for this floating point multiplication it requires three steps. Step number one compute the exponent of the product by adding the exponents together. That means, in the product the exponent can be computed by adding the exponents of the input numbers multiply to mantises and that will give me the mantissa of the product. Normalize and round the final product will be the last step. So, let me go for one example that will be good enough for us. So, multiply x is equal to this and y is equal to this. This is a positive number, this is a negative number. So, now when I am going to multiply at first I should add my exponents. So, minus 2 plus minus 1 they are going to be added. So, the resultant exponent will be minus 3. Multiply mantissa. So, now you are getting multiplied getting this one and this one. You are multiplying this one. Here I am getting minus, here I am getting plus. So, the product will have minus and that is the result. This multiplication can easily be done also you can do. So, let me show you. So, it is 1.000 and it is 1010. 1.000 and it is 1.010. So, now let us go for multiplication. Just go for a simple step. So, if you perform multiplication by 0, if you perform multiplication by 1, if you perform multiplication by 0, if you perform multiplication by 1, just go on adding. So, it is my 0, it is my 0, it is my 0, it is my 0. Okay. So, it is my 1, this is my 0 and what about this one? This is 1. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, the answer will be like this. So, it is 1.01, .01, yes 1.01 .01, and 4 times 0, it is, yes it is 4 times 0. So, they are simulating. So, now <coughs> after rounding the product, we shall get, we shall get, so there is the exponent and this is the case. So, I am taking the 4 uh, digits after the radix point. So, this is, a, this is the answer and after rounding, I am getting this product. So, let me go for the schematic diagram. This is a schematic diagram exponent e 2 and exponent e 1 for the number 2 and number 1 respectively will be added. Mantissa m 2 and mantissa m 1 for floating point number 2 and 1 respectively will get multiplied and then we shall go for the result normalization and with the rounding logic depending upon the number of bits you are allowing up to the radix point. And then you are going to get your resultant exponent and resultant mantissa floating point multiplication. So, I have explained this one in a very simple way with my theory, with my example, 
and with my schematic diagram. Okay. So, I think you have got the logic. So, please uh, watch our next video on floating point division.